Hello YouTube, Freddy W and Brandon fans, welcome to yet another Blender tutorial. Uh, today we will be stripping back to the basics like Brandon did in his video. Uh, once again, mirroring everything that he's doing on his uh, channel. Alright, so let's get started right here in Blender. Um, once again, you'll be hit with a splash screen. You're gonna go ahead and click out of that. Here is your general user interface, your standard default scene. Um, so basically up here you have like your file system like every other app, um, your uh, different types of workspaces uh, that we used in the previous tutorial, um, scenes uh, that you will get into later, the renderer that we already talked about. You have your, you have your view panel over here and uh, so your control panel as well as uh, like a layer selection so basically you start off you have this general scene with the cube the lamp and a, uh, a camera an easy uh, way to navigate your scene is just using your middle click uh, you can zoom scrolling with your scroll wheel and then you can kind of like do this pan action holding shift and your middle button as well as uh, zooming holding control. Now, uh, if you don't have a middle uh, click button or middle click mouse, uh, you can go into user preferences, input, emulate third button, uh, third button mouse um, with an alt left click as you see um, right here. Um, now, another thing you want to turn on is emulate numpa numpad if you don't have um, your number pad on your keyboard. Once you've mastered moving around your viewport, um, if you want to uh, set it up like uh, uh, 3ds Max, like Brandon has it, uh, like I said before, you can do toggle quality to view, and once again, you have those orthographic views, top right, front, and then your perspective. Um, Alright, and uh, once again, we can toggle out of that. Uh, orthographic is viewing uh, your scene from an infinite um, space away from it. Uh, that way, there's no uh, kind of like vanishing points like you would do in art. This is similar to like, I don't know, Pokemon, early like Game Boy games. Uh, now, perspective is like your first person shooter, Minecraft. Or not. We're gonna go ahead, hop back into perspective with uh, number pad five, um, or five if you turn on emulate numpad. All right, we're gonna move into hotkeys, right. and so editing your little cube you got here. Um, once again, you can grab using these arrows. Uh, the cent if you grab on that center, it's free grab. Uh, if you come down here, you can change it to rotation and to um, scaling. Now, most of the time, you're not even going to deal with that. You're just going to go ahead and use your hotkeys. Um, and for that, it's S for scale, R for rotation, and G for grab. Um, now, you can lock, you can constrain all these. Um, two different axes, uh, such as X, Y, and Z. Um, you can also hold shift and select um, X, Y, or Z, and that will exclude the one you press down. So as you can see here, I, um, I press down Z, shift Z, um, and that's excluding the Z axis and um, scaling it along the X and Y. Uh, and that applies to rotation and to uh, grabbing. And to clear anything, you do Alt and then that hotkey. So Alt R for rotation, Alt G for grab, Alt S for scale. And that will pop you back to where it has set it. Um, if you want to go ahead and add more stuff to the scene, you can go Add Mesh, Add your primitives. Um, we're going to go ahead and add a monkey. Another sh uh, shortcut to that is Shift A. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add the monkey. That The monkey's name is Suzanne. Uh, don't ask me why. 
Um, and this is a good place to explain your modifiers. Um, so modifiers, like Brandon said, can be stacked like layers. Uh, you'll come to know these. You can watch tutorials. We'll cover a few of them probably. Uh, a simple one is subdivision. That will subdivide your uh, mesh, as you can see here. Um, be careful not to spam click like Brandon said because a lot of this will exponentially increase your computing, uh, the, the strain on your computer. As you can see here, it's exponentially subdividing the mesh. Um, another thing you might want to check out is uh, your edit mode with uh, or pressing tab or selecting edit mode down here. Um, you can select uh, different vertices or um, or faces and um, move them along like uh, with the same uh, hotkeys as before, scale or grab. And once you uh, tab out of edit mode, um, that those would be applied. As far as like um, practice goes, you can always head over to cgcookie.com slash blender and that will give you some simple tutorials, or not so simple tutorials depending on what you choose. Uh, also go ahead and search YouTube. Uh, another good resource is the Blender Artist Community. If you have any questions though, be sure to hop on anything, uh, any questions you have as well as like um, contests they host. and really just uh, practice 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 I guess that's all for now be sure to put out another one of these when uh, uh, Brandon comes out with another one of these next week and um, I guess that's it for now Go, make sure you watch the real one at uh, Freddy W2 check out uh, Brandon's Twitter and if you like this I guess subscribe to this channel